what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hope it's a fantastic day. My name is Rose here, and it's been a long time since I've done a live commentary. So since I am going for the Mile RC, I do need to get used to doing stuff like this because I can't just be doing videos where I talk over my own gameplay and everything where I turn down the volume in the back and just talk over it because if I just talk over it, then I can just easily, you know, if I mess up, I delete this. But if I do a live com, then I, it'll help me, you know, talk a, bit, a little bit better in those. And especially, you know, maybe make a little bit better content. So, uh, like I said, since I am going for the Mal RC, I'm going to try to uh, do a lot more of this stuff. But anyways, uh, I'm not going to ramble. Um, today's video, I'm just going to be playing some BO4 Blackout. Uh, fair warning, if you don't want to watch my gameplay, just uh, set your phone or whatever to your side and just listen. Because I am very trash at this game. But um, what I'm going to be talking about while I'm playing is, uh, as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be talking about how... Fortnite has actually, you know, killed Call of Duty and everything like that. So, we're going to go ahead and get straight into this. Um, as soon as I get into the lobby, I'll start talking and everything. So, I'll see you guys in just a sec. If that was, like, even a good intro. That was probably, like, my shittiest intro that I've ever done in my whole entire life. Like, the intro was fine, but as soon as I started talking about what I'm going to talk about, that shit was so crappy. But, um, anyways, like, um, uh, obviously, Call of Duty has probably, like, killed itself and everything. Uh, ever since... I don't know, ever since maybe like Black Ops 3, at that time people were, were just Blackout. like really thinking that Call of Duty was going downhill. Uh, BO3 was really good, people liked it, but at the same time people hated the aspect of it because everything, everybody could jump around and all that fucking shit. But like then, Infinity War, and if it was Infinity War then that, that, that game completely killed everything. That game was so, uh, so futuristic and it just didn't live up to the hype or anything, so like after Infinity War everything... World War 2 was pretty good. I, I liked it. I really did. But since Infinity War so bad that... Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go over here. See if I can get at least like a little pistol. Since Infinity War was so like... Absolutely terrible. People like just assumed that... World War 2 was gonna be trash as well. So in that... In those aspects, pretty much... COD kinda killed itself in a sense. But... At the same time, as soon as uh, Fortnite came out... Uh, everything just didn't seem to work out. It's only been like a uh, almost a year and th three, four months or something like that. And Fortnite is completely taking over everything. Now, that's not... Like, obviously you could say that it's not Call of Duty's fault that everybody went to Fortnite and joined the bagwagon and everything. But Advised at the same time, whenever they so. made Bill 4, we all expected this. I think uh, they announced it really early and everything. That they were going to be making a... Battle Royale, which is what I'm playing right now for Call of Duty, and that's probably what uh, at least okay. One of my friends, uh, some of y'all should know him. He's been in my streams and everything. Uh, Lazy Gamer, he he does not like the the Battle Royale scene in Call of Duty. Like, it, it's a, it's a huge bandwagon considering for one, everybody joined it to go to Fortnite because it had Battle Royale and everything. And then now Treyarch ended up doing the same exact thing, and then I think Battlefield's gonna go do it as well. But since they joined the bandwagon and everything, it, it just it made people hate it a lot more. But uh, Black Ops 4 isn't too bad of a game. It really isn't. The Blackout is really fun. But considering that Fortnite was kind of the first big battle royale game that anybody ever actually played, you know, besides uh, PUBG and everything. Since Treyarch joined the bandwagon and everything, people just hated that fact, and they wanted just a normal, you know, Call of Duty. They just wanted, you know, multiplayer, zombies, and then they switched Battle Royale for campaign, which is... Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. I don't know what, to do. I don't know what do I do? I don't play solo, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Do I wait for him? How do people play this game? Do they rush, or, like... You can't build, so you can't like go up there like really fast. What is that? Where did I get shot from? Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Before I talk about anything, I'll, I'll really want to find this gonna kill. Oh, he's, oh, he's alive! <laughs> You're kidding! I had so I many free him. shots on him! Oh, come on. Now I'm dead. I missed all those shots. This is why I don't do... Why is he so good? Why are people so good at this game? I don't like it. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna run. Maybe I can make it. I'm gonna try running away. It's probably my best option. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a pussy. Okay, but anyways, uh, I, I know that's a, that's a lot that I just mentioned. That's pretty much almost the exact same thing as everything else that I just said. But another thing that really sucks about it is that since so many people went to Fortnite, like there were a lot of people from the Call of Duty community went to Fortnite just because it, it just it seems to suck now. I mean, they changed so much of. Um, almost everything that uh, Call of Duty used to be. I mean, now I'm dead. Nobody just walks out of there and looks off to the right. That's stupid. But like I was saying, like Fortnite has absolutely taken over everything, and, and it sucks because I mean, granted, I like Fortnite. I, I well, okay, like is a strong word, but compared to Call of Duty, it, it, it's it, it's doing a lot better. It really is. I mean, Call of Duty changed so much. They added the little where you stab yourself in order to heal. They added uh like they added grappling hooks, and which I, I don't know why they added a grappling hook when they could have literally just left in the thrust jumps and everything like that. It doesn't make any sense. They could have just left all that and it would have pretty much been almost the exact same thing. Except, you know, probably glitches would have been a lot harder. But then, Fortnite, uh, in the uh, the competitive aspect, um, it's probably doing a lot better too. Because now in Fortnite, I mean uh, in Call of Duty, if you want to have a pro team, you need five players. And normally, Call of Duty had four players. We all know that. But... Now you need five, and five, it just seemed, when you had four players, it seemed more competitive because it was less players, so if you were to kill just three simple players out of an entire team, then you'd be instantly down to one. But now that you, like, I know it's one more, now that you have five, it's more like where it's in between four and six, so now it's basically right around the range of like how many players you need for a full team in a public match. So with five players, it... You basically have a public match. It's not competitive anymore when you kill two people and that's not even that huge of a deal. You still have three more people to do it. But when you kill two people by yourself, you just wipe you just wipe almost the whole team. So with five extra players and then even five players in public match as well, if I remember correctly. I don't know, I don't play multiplayer too much. But five players in multiplayer is just that I remember they're trying to change the competitive aspect of Call of Duty. But you can't change the. You can't change public competitiveness. That's just retarded. Like I don't know what the point of changing five was. So Fortnite doesn't change anything like that when it comes to it. All they do is add weapons and vehicles. There's nothing like too uh, exciting about that. So since Fortnite doesn't do too much with this game, uh, they leave it on its own. Granted, it's only been around for a year, but or or the battle royale at least it's. Actually, it's not a problem to anybody because everything's pretty much the same as it's always been. And then now since Call of Duty's changing everything, then everybody's upset because it's not what they used to play. So, since Fortnite's doing so much better, it, Call of Duty has just gone downhill. And like I said with the Battle Royale, everybody wants to play um, Fortnite because they don't need to come over here and play Battle Royale as well when they already have Fortnite. And especially since Fortnite's free. So there's no point in buying Call of Duty and playing Blackout when you could go over there and play uh, Fortnite Battle Royale for 100% free. It just it ruins everything of the game. And the, since they don't have campaign anymore, like nobody can do a. I know it's probably not that big of a thing anymore, but it uh, it's something I wanted to do when it came out. Oh shoot. I didn't see him at all.
That is the shittiest fucking player I've ever seen. You know what? Why don't we fucking talk about that too? Because that's so fucking gay. Who, like, you don't, nobody camps in Fortnite. There's no way you can. Because if somebody's sitting in a corner, you still have the chance to one, like, turn around and one pump them while they're shooting at you with a compact SMG. But in here, if they're camping and you don't see them, they just completely shred you if you don't have fast enough reaction. Or if you get scared shitless like my pussy ass did, and he just completely fucking melts you and I can't do anything or shoot at him at all. You saw me take two shots and none of them hit him at all. I, as soon as I shot, I was already dead. There was no point to it at all. The only people that camp in Fortnite are the people that build a little box and sit in it. But obviously, they're going to fucking be in there. You know it. Who the fuck's going to guess that he was sitting behind the goddamn little counter? Nobody does that. That's so... Oh my god, I can't believe I'm going to have to rage in this fucking video. That's so awful. Nobody... You don't you don't deal with anything like that in Fortnite. Oh, I'm so done with this shit. I don't even think I'm going to do another game. Because I'm pretty sure I have at least like 7 minutes of fucking footage. That's so stupid, bro. I wanted to get a good game. But that's... Oh, that's so fucking annoying. Nobody... Nobody fucking does that in Fortnite. If you see somebody camping, you, you at least hear them, or you hear them switching weapons and shit. But in here, I didn't hear him moving or healing at all. That was fucking retarded. And as soon as I turned that little, be, behind that little, uh, shelf thing, he just fucking melted me. Fortnite, at least I have fucking health to heal myself with, or be able to build and shit. Fortnite is so much better than, uh, Call of Duty. I can't, I can't deal with this shit. This was probably a shitty video, it really was, because I talked about pretty much the same shit the entire fucking video. But now I'm just so pissed off that... <sighs> I, I only play two games, like, I'm not even, like, faking this anger. Like, I wanted to play a couple games by myself, because I, I thought I would get, you know, a couple of kills or some shit, or make it at least look like I know what the hell I'm doing. But then that, that happens, and it's just so annoying, so I can't get good gameplay. And then I, I can barely talk over anything because I end up dying as soon as I get into the goddamn lobby. So I don't know what to do. Uh, this wasn't too much of a uh, Fortnite killed Call of Duty. I just explained what was so bad about Call of Duty. So I don't even know what I'm going to title this. It probably isn't going to be titled like... Um, this is probably going to be titled something about uh, why Call of Duty sucks now or why Call of Duty died. Um, it's, I'm not even gonna compare it to Fortnite at this point because Fortnite is so much better than this piece of crap. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. And if you don't mind, click on subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.